This is mad. We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Run that thing, bro. Right? No, you mad? Oh, oh man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about. Yeah. Disclaimer. <laughs> Run that thing back. Nah, man. Just stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, because I'm saying Mr. Blitz Tech. Raven the GS. Joe One Third of the Cyber Nerds. Um, and welcome to the spoiler review for Army of the Dead. That's right, spoilers will be dropping. So if you haven't watched it yet or you kind of care what how it's going to happen in the movie, go watch it. Come back if you don't care. You can stay here. We appreciate it either way. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. When reviews do drop, reactions drop, everything else in life. And yeah, I guess we go on to the review. I just want, oh, oh what's up? Oh, I thought you were just going to run through the deaths. As oh. You, as you, as you always do. I was going to, I was actually going to start with Restore the Snyderverse. Oh, first, okay. Right? I mean, <laughs> of course. Just get the housekeeping out of the way. <laughs> get me. Restore that thing. Get me. We're fighting. Um, who dies? Uh, everyone pretty dies, except for, I guess, the character that we don't want to die. Oh no, the character that we want to die the most <laughs> does not die being Scott, it's Scott Ward, isn't it? Scott Ward is Batista's character. Mm. Batista's character daughter, she doesn't die. Everyone else, finish finito, get me. Or there's impending doom on them, get me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, man got, you know, yeah, no, they, like the they know, I like the you that. know, get me. But yeah, <clears> man, uh, can't lie, I'm just kind of disappointed in the movie. Mm. I felt like there's so many good things about it, but the focus isn't on what I feel like it should be, which is just like way more of the action. Like it's mad because in the movie, there's super sick action scenes. There's actually one particular action scene that I feel like is super tough. And I felt like more of the movie should have been focused on that. You get me? I feel like they try to get into the interpersonal relationships and diving into the narratives of the way the characters are connected and the emotional bonds that bring No, no, no. Yeah, it did it did feel like a a big tease to when we come to like What's a action. big tease though? Like what's the hand gesture for a big tease? <sighs> Disclaimer <laughs> The views of Mr. Blitztech are all his own. <laughs> What? I sat, Wait, what? Raven, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't. I just knew a magical moment was gonna was gonna happen if I asked the question. Did it? Uh, Get me. Um, listen, just leave me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. This guy, fam. I'm done with Sam, fam. Yo, every day this guy just comes up with new stuff. I don't even know how he comes up with this new stuff, bro. It's a madness. But yeah, like you mentioned, um, there's there's really good things about this movie, but then the stuff that really kind of draws us to this movie, which is done so different from any other zombie movie, um, then that kind of just gets pushed aside for this stupid little girl who has her dad emotionally compromised and then just goes and does dumb stuff, in it? But like, the, the sick stuff about this movie is the characters they brought in. Mm, the characters are sick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, even the way the way they are completely different from one another. Like one's like a get like a, a YouTuber, like is is all about just being in front of the screen. But he gets, you know, say he gets a couple of bodies in. Even though like he moved a bit mad when it came to his brethren, because he could have saved her, but then he just just let her die. I no, thought that was like closer, I yeah. thought that was like but yeah, but his energy when he came to, to it was, yeah, to that, whole scene was mad. Dude, that whole I was scene like, was mad. Yeah. You've got all this energy. Mm. She's but, right there. But she's right there. You're not doing anything. So I thought that was a bit... But then again, like you're saying, it's just a uh, a, a video personality. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I just thought that was a bit weird. But I'm 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 kind of mad that his brethren died because she was so sick. Yeah. She was so sick. And I felt like she should have been one of the ones that should have gone out. Like, she was the first one to be left behind. She should have been like the ultimate survival of this thing. Like everyone, she's the one you could see like she was about it. Do you know what I mean? So I thought I was kind of peaked the way she died. Um, 
What else, man? I think De- um, Baptiste, I think he did like a good job holding the main character role down, to be honest, because we've seen him usually take like co-hosting roles or, or co-starring roles or taking the back role. But him being the main dude in this, I actually did enjoy like his performances being like obviously at the beginning, man just being this tank, obviously doing with the in fact the credit scene for starters is yeah, it's super nuts. mad, bro. It's mad. It's mad. <laughs> when they're opening that whole scene, it is mad. But that's where I think again the setup for me at the beginning of the movie was so big and then it kind of trickled down kind of disappointingly. But that was a bit mad. But then John Batter, Batista being the main dude, I think like I think he does a good job, to be honest. Yeah, man. I feel like just to back what both of you are saying, the characterizations of the individuals is probably the best thing about the movie. Do you know what I'm saying? Like who like the actors playing their roles and what they're doing and and all of that, man. So I feel like, yeah, that's good, bruv. And then obviously I feel like the action is super high level when you get it. But I feel like for a movie that's two and a half hours, yeah. We needed either the movie to be shorter <clears throat> or there to be way more action. Do you that's, get what I'm saying? That's it. I also love as well that how like they throw so like so many like zombie tropes, they like spin on their head, like you're like, oh, usually this would happen here, and it doesn't happen like the completely opposite. That's why it was it was weird. Not weird, it was it was unexpected but good. Like, so you know when the chick you was talking about is having up all the zombies. Man are like, nah, she's dead, bro. Yeah. But then it's like, oh no, she's going to make it. Then she makes it and you're like, rah, she made it. Then, then she dies right then and you're like, I see what you did there and I understand why that was good. But then at the same time, because you like the character, yeah. you wanted her to survive, but that's probably the reason they chose the killer. Yeah, Do you but, know what I'm saying? But, even, but you know what? Even, even with the ending, I thought the ending would be so sick if you kept certain characters in play mm. because now, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that got bit towards the oh, end. Amari Hardwick. Yeah. So he's, that, that would be so sick the way they could flip it to the next movie. Yeah. Because like, we start with this group and obviously like, we like these characters. Yeah. But then like, his character survives, but then he becomes the op mm. for the next movie. Mm. That would be so sick to, to carry on. And he's got the money. Yeah. So it's like, oh, we've got to break back in. That place has been new, but there's still a, a few of our zombies out here. I've got the bread. You might have got to come get me now. Yeah, that's right. tough, bro. I thought that would be that would be sick. And obviously, if you kept her, because she's about it. Yeah, that she could even lead the ops back in. Right. Do you know what I'm Do saying? You know what I mean, instead of just 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 killing her, like and like even even the 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 pilot, she's sick. Yeah. She, I feel she's like one of like the best characters out yeah, there yeah, as well. Yeah, 100%. Like, she doesn't do anything in terms of like action. But just her personality, personality exactly. and the way she carries the conversation with everybody else, like, I thought that was sick. I'm just gonna kill her, bro. Like, I I just felt like it would be really good if we kept one or two more characters in play for the mm. next movie, especially like the way it ended. All right, I, do you actually think there'll be a sequel though? I think I think because I, I feel like these I days, feel so I think so because you know why? It's the way they've done it with this zombie stuff. I feel that's so sick. And because we don't know where the, the origin of the first one came from. Mm. That's mad. Also, one of the bits when they get killed, it looked like it was a robot. Yeah. Like with the blue stuff. Yeah. But there's so much, so much more stuff no, that they've I, given us that they can push I, on to the next one. I hear that. But that's like normal Zack Snyder stuff, <clears> isn't it? Like mad, like building a world, isn't it? Mm. But then it's like, but I also feel like these days, every movie has the... There's a sequel coming, but then sometimes you don't get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, would you legitly want a sequel? Like, do you get me? Or like, if this is what you never got another movie, would you be like, oh, this is calm? This is calm. This yeah. is calm. Even but I would, I would definitely way. want another one, especially like, when was the last time we had that zombie movie? I mean, not like this for time, isn't it? So this is the perfect opportunity to start something completely different. I mean, the way the zombies move are mad. The fact there is the alpha zombies mm. and there is just Normal, Normal zombies. zombies. No, I thought that was. I, I thought zombies. that was sick. That's the, sick. The way that like the lineage passes down. So obviously, if you get bit by an original, you're way stronger and smarter, and then it just gets dumber and dumber. Mm, like right. if you got bit by a foot soldier, which makes sense. Then, yeah, yeah, bro, it mm, does, bro. I thought that. I thought that all of that stuff, that kind of mythology and stuff, was tough in the movie. Because bro. imagine now we get to certain certain part, like certain time, and now you have a zombie in your team. But he's like partial, like human still, but partially. Yeah, like he, zombie. He, he, yeah. because he's been bitten by some 
degraded zombie. Mm. So now I'm like, oh, I every now and again, I can again, actually survive it. I but yeah, survive, I spaz out a little bit. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that the world now is becoming so crazy. And you also had the, 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 the volunteers who were like, oh, these are human beings, boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, so fight now, for the rats. So now things are getting really tricky now, like, mm. when it comes to, to that. Like, mm. oh, we have zombies living among us, but they're not zombies, but they're zombies. Like, bruv, like, I feel that <clears throat> that world building, what they've done, is sick in this movie. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I did like some of the, the actual, as usual, what's a zombie movie about zombie deaths? And one of the best ones when that, that white tiger was having that bad up, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> Wow. Like that guy, obviously, I was I was waiting for it. Yeah, I just knew that tiger had to do something. It goes, it was roaring, it was lazy. I was like, this this tiger's not doing anything. Like it looked, it looked mad. Yeah, it yeah. looked mad in the trailer, and it it came through. Man, what well, man came? What did, what did happen? He was looking for something, and the tiger was behind him. Yeah, tiger shoved man. Yeah. And just oh, mauling him up. But you know what? Yeah, mauling it him felt up, like bro. the tiger was beating him up. No, I was playing with him, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, that's like, what you said the same thing. Yeah, huh? yeah. It felt like it was like it was throwing man around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, usually they'll go for the neck and just one time kill yeah. or anything like that. But mm. this guy was over here just slapping man up like like he's like, punching him, bro. Yeah. Like, I felt like we needed it though. That he, t- I feel like he needed it. Now, he that's definitely it. needed it for it. what the cruddy was doing, bro. Mm, most so. definitely. That was the most satisfying death. Batista's uh, Ex girlfriend, on the other hand, she oh my God. Super, but I feel for Batista, bro, because <laughs> none of his like any love of his life gets finished. <laughs> Firstly, is the mom of his child. He has to kill her, which is like when he screams, bro. I was like, oh, this is tough. <laughs> but when she got off the lift, bro, that death was mad. Like, shoot, yeah, that thing was peak. It was peak. Yeah, that was too much. Uh, anything else? German dude, man, heart. Like, you know what, yeah? Zach is sick because, like, I don't know if there's any other, um, what would you call it? Sacrifices in other movies like that. Jump in the comment section below and let me know. (laughs) But I have never seen the movie, a white person sacrifice willingly Mm. to save a black man. Not just any white person, though. Never. So I feel like I feel like there's like yo that was done on purpose, fam. By Zach, could it? Like I see what you're doing, fam. I see what you're doing. So that was very interesting to see on the screen. But like, it's just so many things that go on in this movie. Um, like people surviving as well, getting into um Vegas because there's pee there. Mm. It's it's basically like a fountain of pee. And people just keep going in. Some people come out, most come out. Some people don't, just because they want some peas to be able to go. So, what, did they mention where they wanted to go? They mentioned where they wanted to go, like when they, once they left the camp. What do you mean? You know, outside Vegas here. Yeah. They want to, obviously there's 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 trucks, there's mm. buses taking them out someplace. Mm. But they're like, but if you go there, it's the same thing being stuck here because we ain't got no peas. Mm. So where else would they go once they had the peas? I think it's, he just said she wants to get a pass or whatever, and that's enough for them to just be out of that whole camp situation, I think. A pass to where? And this is why I feel <laughs> like there's a lot more to this world as well, fam. Mm-hmm. Like, there's one, there must be a place where it's just like, we're just living normal like back day. Or yeah, even anywhere better. By, anywhere by America, yeah. isn't it? Like, like it's not anywhere outside of Vegas. Yeah, bro. Yeah, this... like America is still normal America. Vegas is just like this. Yeah, but no, but remember the uh, the guy that was doing the the YouTube stuff. He looked like he was just they were just on a, some back alleys of LA, and they were shooting the zombies. I like thought the zombies he, go out. I thought that man was coming here to do those videos, and that's oh. why they was like. Oh, he's got like, people are voting for this guy because they think he's on job. Oh, okay. So zombies weren't out in the streets. They I didn't like, believe so. I thought like oh, they was okay. coming here to record videos. Because he just looked like he was one of those. Yeah, it was like a regular alleys, street. Yeah. But I feel like if they snuck into here, there's mm. probably still a couple streets that look normal. That's what I that's how I took that. Okay, okay. I don't know how Vegas look, in it. So to me, Vegas just casinos and that. Well, that looked like someone's back garden, like you know, like, <laughs> the ones you see in the movies. Yeah, bro. So no, man, I feel I feel like there's a lot more 
there's a lot, maybe less they could have given us and a yeah. lot more of something else and the movie would be like really, really good. Mm. Like, I don't have any issues with the movie, but I just feel like some things just, we could have just... Yeah, so for me, it was definitely the runtime. Runtime was a bit too long. And I felt like movie? two, two and, and a half. half. Okay. And I feel like that, the runtime is because of the door. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not correlated. <laughs> maybe I'm correlated too because I don't like the two, but I feel like the, the door was, one was moving magic because her motivations were all over the gap because we had that, that scumbag in the camp, mm. which I, even him was a good setup. Like, man's a scumbag. He yeah. don't like women. Yeah, but definitely. when men move to him, man's all like, Coward oh, yeah. Man. Even the German dude who isn't, he's just the guy to break a safe. Even he moved to him. He's like, oh, like, I can't even talk to him. So I thought that was crazy. But the daughter was like, oh, this woman, she's got children. Let me go in, in there and like to save her. Like, no, that's, not knowing the situation, like, you don't really handle guns yeah, and stuff. Bad. You go in there. Bro, from time she emotionally blackmailed her dad, bro, it was finished, bro. Yeah, and that's what I just find mad. And that then towards dead, the end, bro. when she gets money, like, wouldn't you think, oh, the mum don't come back. Your dad's going to get you money. He's going to give you 15 mil. I can look after the family. But that's I'm what I thought. Like, that's, that's, the, that's the easiest thing you can do. Yo, yeah. look after the youths. That's what I thought. Like, the mum's not going to come back. And you already told the mom not to do that. And she promised she wouldn't do that. So she went in yeah. ahead and done that. So, so I, that's like, why I thought the, the, the whole daughter thing was completely mad. And mm. yeah, that's the only thing I really didn't like too tough. But everything else, the characters, the setup, the world, yeah. I'm with the runtime. I think there's some of the stuff they could have just yeah, left. Yeah, well, well, thousand percent. But, but yeah, man, good action. Decent zombie ting, maybe good world building fam. If they do a sequel, make it an hour and a half of a good living. That's it, more action too. I mean, if you make it two hours, at least make stuff that's like, keep man up. Like, John Wick it, bro. Just back to back, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, how long is a John Wick movie? Like, is that? It's like an hour and a half. half. Two yeah, hours almost, okay. bro. Yeah, yeah fam, man. like that, bro. Mm. Raid, bro, like that, bro. Who, who is your favorite character in this thing? My, uh, mine has to be the pilot, bro. The she pilot from time she won me over with the <clears throat> with the uh with like our first scene where it's like oh how much is the job two million i'm in <laughs> well you don't want to know well, you, no <laughs> i hate my life two million that's a lot of cash i'm good like <laughs> hey that's commitment to the cause bro you get me I'm, that's probably my character i'm like an german dude because i ain't seen no german like this ever portrayed like this in cinema bro man was super super into saves and then even his relationship, like, man trying to build a relationship with Omari, yeah? And it just, at the beginning, it, it felt mad awkward. Even him, like, I'm going in here, never really held a weapon. Ooh. But as long as I'm going to go to this super, super nice safe and I'm going to crack it, that's nice for me. And then at the end, man making the sacrifice. I'm like, all right. That, that evolution for me, with, with that character, and even that, that um, partnership between him and Omari, I was like, wow. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's for me, it's deep. Because yeah. even they grew together as well. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, towards yeah, the end yeah, really as well. Uh, yeah, well. which was... And it's funny because then Omari then became the spokesperson mm. for him. Because like, yo, can you tell these? I'm trying to work over here. Like, I really yeah, like. Exactly. I really like the way he would describe saves is as in like a piece of master, like a masterpiece. Yeah, and already like, opened it. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, he was sick. He was sick. He was sick. He was sick. Mm. He was sick. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like me personally, I don't know. I, I, I guess I have to go with the the John Wick chick in it because mm. yo. For for the minutes she's got, and the way she was on job, and she sassed out the other dude as well. I'm just mad that she died. That is just <laughs> oh, it man. was peak. It was peak. But yeah, man, listen, I want more of this movie. To be honest with you, I want to. I want the next one. I want them to build a world <clears> around this thing and really make a thing out of it. Do you know what I mean? Because I, I think there's so much potential for this. So much potential. Like, where did this guy come from? And Who's the fact that? they knew, the, the first zombie, the oh, fact that they knew, like, yeah. once they had the accident, <clears throat> yo, get the hell out of there. Like, I feel like it was just an experiment from, I'm guessing they were saying Area 51, because man was saying, holy grail, look where we just came from. The only thing that can be is an alien. It opens up and you see, like, these tubes. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing they were testing maybe getting the blood and seeing why man's being reenacted as, as a dead person. So you're right? saying it is a zombie. I mean, you're saying it's an alien. I'm not entirely sure, but even what's even deeper actually when I think about it now, that like his um queen was having an undead baby. baby. Yeah, mm. bruv. Dead yeah, having I, yeah, children. Yeah. For me, that was crazy. Yeah, so that's and and that's what I what I like about obviously they end up referring to them as zombies, but they called them other stuff as well. Like mm. I feel like they were just humans getting tested on 
and then this is done happen. Do you get what I'm saying? And then they're just doing the testing at Area 51. But I do also like the inclusion of Area 51 because then it alludes Bruv. to potentially having aliens in this universe. Bruv, the, the, that, that, con- that convoy conversation was a madness. The whole Holy Grail stuff, hey, listen. Do you he's, know what I'm saying? Ta- he's tapping into some, That's what I'm some, some potentially got, stuff over here. They've potentially got a lot of stuff going on in this universe. So. <laughs> and, the, and the whole time travel thing. So they got to the safe. Yeah. And they were like, we've been there before. We've tried to do this. This is this is us dead here. But now we're here. And hopefully we can... I'm like, whoa, yeah. what? Oh, Ari batted up that scene, bro. I was actually believing that for a second. Yeah, bro, I'm, 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 not, I'm not even going to say that I don't believe it, bro. Exactly. Because the movie starts with them getting out of Vegas. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was like... Hmm, there's a, there's a lot to this world that we don't even really know about that they've so, touched on, so. So another possibility would be like, because he was like talking about trapped in this loop mm. until there is a a flip and we make it a sign. Mm. Oh, who knows? <sighs> you know, he just, he just left breadcrumbs everywhere. I nice. like Zack Snyder. Do your thing. Anyway, guys, let us know in the comments down below. We saw the Snyderverse. I mean, what do you think of the movie? Um, best characters, like zombie stuff. Uh, <coughs> Bobby, and you know what's bad? You know what's bad? This whole Snyderverse here, like, whenever someone talks to me about Zack Snyder, like, I know you're Zack's boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to let this act. I'm like, how? I like, how do I come into this into this <laughs> thing, bro? I just like a movie. Now, now you're your CBS. Yeah. yeah, bro. I'm like, what? Like, people are so weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Man. But uh, yeah, you could uh, go and watch this review on all our audio platforms Spotify, SoundCloud, all them things there. Watch along. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Patreon. There's a watch along. You know what to do. Go to patreon.com for us as a side Watch us react to this movie. It gets mad. There's peak scenes. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. Revenue GS. Joe on further the cyber nerds. Peace. Bye, bye.